See that? That means it's good right here. But good isn't good enough for us. No, I really can't complain. how to clean a glass stove top, which is this one right here. Now, I will point this out because it's important that you know, I did this live on my Instagram story and call it lazy, call it lazy, or call it lazy, <laughs> that we went hand in hand with doing a live video with also making sure we could get it up onto our YouTube. So you are going to be seeing a video that's a little bit different, formatted differently. I'm back to full-time cleaning and still pushing videos out and I really just want to get information to everyone as quick as I can and today is one of the most asked and complimented things I get for cleaning so I'm giving it to you instead of waiting a month for me to edit this video and get it done I'm giving it to you today super fast and straight to you so that is why this video looks like this but go ahead and enjoy first of all you do want your gloves I love my gloves they make you feel like you can just handle anything. And then the, what I use is either a degreaser or Dawn dish soap to put on a sponge, oops, and then just kind of spread it on there and let it sit for the first few minutes or however long. A lot of times when I'm cleaning the kitchen, I'll let that sit and I'll kind of go and maybe hit the microwave or something like that. Definitely clean the counter space after the stove because it can knock dirt and grime over onto the counter spaces. And if you have to move grates or anything like that or knobs and you set them down, you're gonna have to clean again. So just keep that in mind. Um, another thing is I shine it at the end with this stainless steel uh, cleaner, which is my favorite. I have a post down below on my Instagram, which would not be on YouTube. So you'll have to go to Seasons Cleaning Instagram and check out the post that has all this information and I'll put a little bit in the description below since I just said it. Um, and the number one, the thing that is going to make or break is this, SOS pads, which is still wool pads. These are game changers. They also scratch a ton of um, material, so you really need to know what you're using it on. So you really wanna do pay attention to that, and there's a lot of things that you can use this product on. Use pots, pans, stoves, broils, stove tops, oven grills, uh, glassware, glass cookware, tile floors, utensils, plates, dishes, microwave, all of that. Except for in the microwave, it can't scratch if it's the wrong material. And I like to use it on the grates in your oven when you're cleaning grates. I use this sponge, here's the one I used for the video, on the grates and I'll help get a lot of that grime and stuff off. So it cuts, oh, let me just, let me just read what it says. Uh, no dish soap required, cuts through grease, removes baked on food. This is not an ad. I just use this product. Actually, I use all these products. We're in my house, and I use them not only in my house, but in all of my houses as well. So those are key, and then also making sure you have a towel for cleaning and for shining at the end, a clean, soft microfiber cloth, and there are other options that you can use as well. Another thing that's good for cutting through grease and shining up is W40. Who'd have thought? Um, I also have on another YouTube video, and I will put that right there, this video we do make our own disinfectant cleaner with using um, alcohol, and it's all CDC approved. We did it back in March, the whole series on cleaning and disinfecting. You could use that as well. You could use a bottle that has glass in it and use a glass cloth. All of these are great options. They all work. Um, I do want to mention that when you clean your stove top, and I promise we'll get to it in two seconds with all of the video that we took, and you'll see me actually clean it because I think seeing someone clean something helps you understand it better than me just telling you. But I do clean this stove top. Something fell on there, it made it dirty. <laughs> um, but what I like for cleaning glass stove tops is there is a system where you have to do it over and over and over again to get to your desired clean. So for instance, if you really don't care that much, you just want to quick clean, you know, you get to decide how clean you want your stove top. If it's for a client, you want to get 100% in there, but it can take like, I mean, I've had one client, he had something baked on there so bad, it took me almost 30 minutes to clean this glass, glass stove top. I wasn't even into the knobs or anything about just doing round after round. 
but I got it and he was so impressed and so was I. <laughs> so anyway, this is um, a system where you do one, two, three, four. Mine's not that bad, so it didn't take us that long, but I'll go ahead and show you. Just repeat, what's that uh, shampoo bottle say? Repeat if necessary, as needed, or that's kind of the same thing to get your desired clean. And at the end of the day, if it doesn't drive you nuts, let it go. But if you want to get there, maybe that deep clean once in a while, get there, go all the way. But if it's just like every week cleaning and you're not too concerned. And I also hit it with a decreaser. You, this I usually will use Dawn as the degreaser and just let it sit on there and kind of do a little bit of work. But you can also use degreasers. This is Grease Lightning. I happen to have down in the basement. I try products all the time, and so I have tons of products down in my little pile of things I've tried and I just didn't love, so they just sit there. And then I'll sell them in my grad cell in the fall. <laughs> and then I, I like Crud Killer, but I don't happen to have it. So I just went with what I had, and that's what you can do too. And Dawn is a degreaser, and it kills bacteria, and I just love Dawn. So that's usually my go-to one. But if it's really, really bad, I would maybe even give a couple rounds of spraying with degreaser, letting it sit, spraying it with degreaser again, scrubbing it, letting it sit. Let that kind of do it. It's okay to not have a perfectly clean house. That is what I tell myself, and that is what I'm telling you. So anyway, let's go ahead and dive into that, and let's get started. Oh wow, that's the, all right, it's in the, you can change it so it doesn't spray around, but I'm just going to spray really close and spread it around. See how it flew up there? Oh, well no, I'll talk about that in a second. And just let that sit. That's step one. Oops. Now, bear with me as I set it up. Can you see this? So we've let it sit and spray so it can kind of pull. Now there is scratches all over my stove top and that was previously here. Here we did that first spray, but what I love to and normally use, and I'm just getting some hot water and a sponge, and I kind of do the first initial clean to get that degreaser off. And you don't, that was a lot of Dawn, I didn't know. <laughs> it's a live cleaning. But you know what? It doesn't even matter. Then we'll take this. The still, still wool pad. And you'll take that and just work it in. And that's going to cut through. And you, when you're cleaning, you can feel that it just smoothly going through like this. And when it gets caught, it's when you work into it a little bit. But you, this is what I would suggest is feeling the stove top. And you can't see because there's so much, like even if you didn't have all that Dawn, there's a ton <laughs> of blue from this because it has soap in there. And so what I usually do is I'll do it in waves. I'll kind of try to get as much up the first time so you don't have to keep doing this back and forth. And you can decide on how clean you want it. And this just takes time. And maybe it's not I was telling you how this is one of my favorite products. And if you have like a bathtub that's not porcelain or a shower that's not tile or porcelain or natural stone, I don't know what the material is, but this is, there's some things this works so well on that it just makes your job easier. See, I found a little spot. So just, you can hear it. This is where the term elbow grease comes from. Is that what it, the term is? Yep. Elbow grease. See, so like, I can barely see this to see where the spots are and that is why I do it a couple times. So what I'll do is try to I was just getting water from the sink. Maybe I should have brought you over there but well we're live and we're not used to cleaning live. So now I'm just kind of trying to rinse off some of that product. This is why my cleaning YouTube videos are challenging for me. 
because I just clean. I don't clean to talk and I don't really ever stop to think. I just, I've learned and I have systems and it's like driving to work at this point. Like I just, luckily because that now I can focus on listening to audio books or podcasts. If anybody has any good podcast recommendation. All right, I did a really good job because it, it really did pick up a lot of that. All right, I'll show you. Let me see if I can flip it. There we go. All right, see those right there are scratches and there's a little bit more caked on right there. And we'll shine it after, so it doesn't have to look perfect. This is the cleaning, removing everything part. So it actually looks pretty good. Apparently we haven't been cooking that much, but we did have no power for like a whole day. Okay, so then we're gonna do it one more time just to get it perfect, but instead, since the whole stove's not that bad, I'm just gonna work on little spots. You did come with me, okay. So like right there, but if it was really bad, I would just do the whole process over. What we just did, do it over, not the spraying and letting it sit, although you can do that. Sorry if it's a little shaky. Okay, taking this back side and I'm just kind of going like in a snake. Going like in a snake, snake. So kind of like a making it into like a squeegee, I guess I would say. Boom, boom, boom. Then we're taking our towel and removing it all. Here, maybe I should put this down. And you guys will have to let me know if this is hard, if I should just make cleaning YouTube videos and never do a live demo ever again. <laughs> but I have to try everything. All right, so there. Now everything's removed. It's to my liking. And now is my favorite part. Ah! You guys okay? <laughs> okay, now is my favorite part, and that is Shining it up. There's a lot of, look, you can already see the reflection of the knives. Do you see that? That means it's good right here, but good isn't good enough for us. So we do, and you can do this two ways. You can options, but my favorite is probably this because I have stainless steel right here. And normally I would clean all of this at the same time. Today I just did the stove top so that we well, we have five more minutes, so it makes perfect sense I just did that. And then a key, before I clean my stainless steel stove top, I take the cleanest microfiber towel that I can find, and I start with all the other appliances that are the cleanest first, down to the dirtiest, because the key to stainless steel getting clean correctly is to actually make sure, it's at the end, I'm sorry, to make sure that this isn't super dirty. So this needs to be clean. The cleaner this is, the better the clean you'll get. So we're just going to, oh, and this is why I love this stainless steel cleaner because it goes on glass. So when you have like glass plates, like you're cleaning stainless steel and you have this little area here, it won't leave smears and stuff. This one is flawless. I mean, I've talked about it a thousand times. This is not an ad. They are not paying me. This is what I use. You guys, look at that. Isn't that pretty? If you were a house cleaner, you know. That's dirty, but whatever. Here, let me switch that. Oh. There are scratches. Maybe a little dust. But caked on food? No way, Jose. And scratches you can't really do anything about, except for avoid them. And voila, it looks so beautiful. Oh, let me mention one other thing. I'll probably have to put something over it. 
like take a picture, you know? Quote of the day is, don't wish it was easier, wish you were better. I know you're thinking, is she talking about the stove? I'm actually not. I actually just wanted to send a little bit of a message out there because this is a quote that I love and I think this year it's been a hell of a year. And so I think this one can kind of um, be played, play this quote well this year, keep this in your mind, but don't wish things were easier because there's nothing you can do about everything going on. So just sitting there wishing things were better, or things were better, well, it's, it's, that's just not gonna go anywhere and you're kind of focusing on the wrong spot. What you need to be focusing on is that you're better. So whether that means that you are like, well, I can't do anything about this situation, what can I do for myself? What can I do in my mind to help me build the strength to be able to handle anything that gets tossed my way? So I hope that little quote helps you. I hope that I was able to teach you something. I know you're super excited to go out and buy Dun, 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 dun. Still wool cloths, and you guys, the best part about these is they're so cheap, and they come in a box full of them. There's there's a spoon in my box full of these, and I mean you could just I mean it's so cheap, and it's literally if you have a glass stove top, you're gonna want these around. They're also great for the oven too. So these are America's number one. They're Chenevon K's number one. All right, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next week on Instagram. We will be on Seasons Cleanings doing our Get Your Clean On with Shanna Von K, which this is episode four, and subscribe to the channel, ring the bell so you know when it's coming out because we don't know, so how are you supposed to know? But thanks so much for watching, and give me a like if you like this video so I know to keep making some more, and that you guys actually really enjoy these videos, and most importantly, that I can bring some sort of value to you and your cleaning skills and help you achieve that clean that you've always wanted. Thanks so much and have a good day.